Hey everyone, my name is Diego Mariscal and today, as you can see, I'm in a different setting and that's because I just came back from college. But today I wanted to talk to you about an incident that happened to me when I was back in Mexico this summer. Um, I was driving with my friend Patrick and we were going to a restaurant and so there was no more parking space so my friend Patrick asked the policeman if he could park in the blue handicapped space because he was with me. So of course the, the, the policeman said yes, but the problem was that he didn't refer to it as the blue handicapped space. He referred to it as the space for minus válidos. I don't know the term in English, but in Spanish it literally means minus of minor, válido of value so it literally means less value right so he was literally saying yes you can park in the space for people with less value and I know he wasn't saying it without intention but sometimes the words we use reflect a lot what our culture what our subconscious thinks of a specific group of people right and this is a question that I get asked all the time if that is not the correct term, then what is? So I thought I would share with you guys some of the main terms around the disability community and what they're used for. First, let's start with the term special needs. You don't want to use this term when you're referring to a person with a disability. Why? Because special usually means unique, out of the ordinary, something good, right? And People with disabilities just want to be treated normally, equally. They don't want to be special. They don't want to be recognized just because they have a disability, right? They haven't earned anything. They haven't done anything. So why are they special? They're not. They're just people. The second term is handicap. Handicap refers to an object. You want to say the handicap bathroom or the handicap parking space or the handicap you know, entrance, but you don't want to say the handicapped person. Person is never handicapable. An object is handicapped. Now to the last one, which is the most interesting one, which is disabled versus with a disability. In 1990, with the Americans with Disabilities Act, there was a lot of emphasis of this thing called person first, which refers to I am a person first and I am a disability second. Therefore, it should be person with a disability. Why? Because you are acknowledging that it's a person first and that it has a disability as a characteristic, right? My whole body, my whole being is not disabled. I happen to have a disability. Therefore, I'm a person with a disability. I'm not totally entirely disabled. That's one side of the argument, but then the other side comes when you're talking about identity, you know? You don't hear people saying, oh, person with blonde hair, or person with black skin, or person with a Hispanic accent. You hear them saying Latino, the blonde girl, or the African-American person, right? Why? Because those are have been adopted as identities, as something that you can identify as. Now here's what I think. Disable hasn't been hasn't being adopted, hasn't become an identity because we society tends to see it as a negative thing. But in my opinion, we have to step away from that. We have to think of being disabled as an identity, as something that categorizes us, as something that empowers us. Because as long as we keep having this negative connotation of the word disable, then it's going to be a little bit more complicated. And people, then we're not going to be able to own that dis disability and to be proud of our dis to be proud of being disabled. Thanks so much guys for watching and leave your opinions in the comments. What do you think disable or with a disability? And I will see you guys next week. Bye.